of a surprise defeat over in League Ung as PSG suffer another defeat to cause a major problem for Pochettino's boys. What's going to go on this weekend? Can the bounce back? We'll take a little look. Next! to match day number 28 over in Lyon and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you been? Stop what you're doing, swallow what you're chewing, smash your subscribe and keep back at all things the Lyon related, Black and Rose related, World Football related. We got all here boys and uh, one Ruski, that's right, PSG of course calling it right, old mess. Uh, of course, uh, another defeat. Uh, of course, they are comfortably clear. Uh, they can play the B team from here on in, I think, to, to win the title but of course, not good for Pochettino's resume. Uh, we'll take a look at it, all of it in a minute. Of course, people shout out to my VIPs that are patrons guys thank you for loving of course behind the scenes but anyway let's jump in the deep end and have a little look at how we all got on last weekend then shall we of course over in la france of course here are the results say etienne i picked up a one of my mats to save their season there but of course way out of the relegation zone well once they wave it of course a little bit out of the relegation zone after that big win mima lorient i picked up a 4-1 loss to leon of course they're on the move uh knots with a 2-0 win from montpellier they're doing a okay after six in the table cruising on into europe perhaps uh, bordeaux with a loss against Troyes, of course nice with a very very nice win uh, for P uh, for over uh, for PSG one nil uh, winning. Yeah, I called it lads, so I did call it. I went with the two win myself. Me and Marseille, uh, they lost to Monaco. Of course, bit of a shit show there. Uh, nice now second spot and quite comfortably. We'll look at that in a minute uh, as well. Lille with a, a win over Clermont for four nil win in the end. Lens uh, lost to Brest. Of course, they did one nil lost there. Star Reims I uh, picked up a draw against Strasbourg. Called it as well. And of course, bottom of the shop there two nil with Rennes over Angers as well. One two three four. Five, six, seven. I got seven. Remember that number. Remember that bloody number. Let's take a look at the league. Of course, PSG 62 points on the board. Of course, Nice are in second, which is very, very nice for them. Of course, Marseille are in third in the tier as well. Win for them. Oh, it's quite close there, isn't it? It's quite. It's going to be a nice little race for the runners up spot. Rennes also in the mix as well. Strasbourg not too far away either. And Nantes, of course, are in the hunt for Europe as well. Down the foot of the table, Bordeaux and Metz going down. Lorient also in a bit of trouble. Troyes and Saint-Étienne also in the mix as well. Take a look at the numbers. Seven is the magic number. Number, number. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Let me just back that up and make sure I am right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yo, 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 bitches. Get back up, 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 Look at that, seven. I got seven. Woo! Yeah, filthy. I'm, I'm all over this. I'm all over this. I know my shit, guys. I know my bloody La France, La France. Bonjour, bonjour. Uh, anyway, big, big shout out to, of course, Ultra, I mean, second best, of course, behind me. Frosty, of course, up there. Jimmy Watton as well. And Shepard. Woo! Right, well, right, their patrons, of course. Much love for them. And, of course, what about the overall mini leaderboard? I'm not in this. I, I'm, I should do that next season. I'm going to try and make sure my name is in here. Let's just see how good I am compared to you guys. I'm sure I suck uh, compared to some of you guys. But anyway, Costas K is your man. Hodden's worst is in second. Of course, Eman and is in third in the tier. But wow, wow, we wow. Of course, if you want to get involved, Cutty Fortune has league. Oh, we're going to get involved in the next game. It's right here, right now. There they are in all their leisure. So let's get into it, of course. Uh, kicking all off with Clermont Foot. Uh, they're taking on Lorient this weekend. Of course, let's jump in the deep end and have a little look at it. Uh, of course, scheduled to take place on the 13th of March. Of course, 14 times at Pritchard since 2003. Three was Clermont Foot, six for Lorient, and five draws, of course. Uh, just one win the past four games to Clermont Foot, 48% form up against the Lorient side. Uh, just one win in uh, two wins in the past uh, six games, 42% form for them at the moment as well. Last time around, though, over in Clermont Foot, it was a 2 win for Lorient. That was back in September 2019 in Ligue 2, of course. However, the home side hasn't won this game since Lorient's beat uh, Clermont Foot back in March 2005. Wow, wow, we It's been a long, long time. Of course, Clermont Foot with a 4-0 loss against Lille. Uh, uh, Lorient also lost to Lyon, of course, last time around. Look at the odds on this one. Clermont Foot 30 to 10 for the Richie. 90 to 10 is your draw. 30 to 5 is your away win. That's, of course, Lorient on this. Got to go back, of course, the nil nil draw on this one. Uh, another what, another game without the home team winning. Next up, of course, we have Isaac Troyes taking on Nantes, of course, on Saturday. Uh, Monday, 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 Mercredi. I don't know what the heck the Saturday is. Uh, 24 times the pitches in 1999. Seven wins for choice, 30 wins for nonce, and four draws, of course. Just one win though in the past six for choice right now, 33% form. I guess the nonce side, of course, unbeaten in the last six games, picking up five wins in the past six, 92% form as well. I uh, haven't lost in a long, long time. Meanwhile, of course, last round, though, in choice, it was a 1 win for nonce. That was back in August 2017. Of course, nonce picked up a 2 1 2 win over in nonce back in, of course, October. Uh, nonce have actually won the last five against choice, and I haven't conceded a goal in, in any of them. 
Uh, meanwhile, Nantes with a tuna win over Montpellier last time around. Uh, Troy's double tuna win over Bordeaux last time around. Look at the odds here. A 13 8 is your Troy's, 23 10 is your Troy, and a 13 8 is your Nantes on this one. I'm going to back Nantes here with another clean sheet. 1 0 win for them. Take it to the house and maybe move into European spots as well. They're already in the Coupe de France final, so of course, good chance for them to get some glory as well. Mets, uh, of course, taking on Lens. That's right, on Sunday, March the 13th. Now, these two sides have, of course, played each other 43 times since 1993. 13 wins for Mets, 18 wins for Lens, and 12 draws, though. Mets, double had a win in the last six games. 25% form for them right now. Up against a Lens side, just uh, 1 defeat past 4 for them, 42% for them at the moment. Of course, last round though in uh, Mets, it was a 2 win for Mets back in December 2020. The reverse fixture in October this season, of course, was a 4-1 win for Lens. Lens though did uh, pick up a loss against Brest last round. Of course, Mets also lost to St. Etienne and scored in the last three games. Goodness gracious me. The odds though uh, for this one, Mets are actually 5-2 to for the victory. 11-10 on is your Lens. Uh, 11-10 is your Mets. Sorry, your Lens. 12-5 is your draw. I'm going to back, of course, a 2-2 draw in here. Can't really separate two sides for this. Uh, can you? Let me know down below. Of course, still better Montpellier up against Nice. Uh, of course, over in uh, the Stade La Masson. Of course, played just 37 times in 1994. 18 wins for Montpellier. 10 wins for Nice, of course, and 9 draws. Uh, just one win in the past six for Montpellier right now. 70% form against the Nice side, of course, unbeaten in the last uh, four. Uh, just one defeat past six. 75% form for them at the moment. Of course, last time round in Montpellier was a 3 1 win for Montpellier back in September 2020. The reverse fixture in Nice was a 1 win, one, one win for Montpellier, which wasn't very, very nice. Of course, Montpellier picked up a 2 0 loss against uh, uh, Nantes. Of course, Nice with a 1 0 win over a PSG. Uh, and they're looking very, very good as well. I haven't conceded the goal in the last four games as well. Kicking on forward though, Montpellier, 97, 11, 8 is your niece. Of course, 5 to 2 is your draw. I'm back in the 2 1 with the niece, which will be very, very nice. And of course, close in maybe uh, to, to give uh, PSG a bit of nerves. Kicking on forward is Lyon. Uh, they're going to be taking on Rennes, of course, probably the game of the day here. Uh, Taking place on Sunday, March the 13th. Now, these two sides have pleasure 55 times in 1994. 23 minutes of Lyon, 15 minutes of Rennes, and 17 draws. Of course, just one defeat though, the past four for Lyon, 58% form up against the Rennes side. Just one defeat past five for them, 67% form for them at the moment. Of course, Lyon. Pick it up a one win over Rennes last time around. That was in March in Lyon. Meanwhile, the reverse fixture in Rennes was back in November. It was a 4 1 win for Rennes as well. Rennes with a 2 win over Angers. Coming into this one, Lyon with a. <coughs> <coughs> Leon with a 4 1 win over Lorient last time around. Of course, busy busy week for both of these two sides. Of course, Leon taking on Porto in the uh, Europa League. Of course, Rennes taking on Leicester in the uh, Conference League as well. Kicking off forward, though, the odds for this one. Uh, what we're we looking at here, Leon 23 20 for the victory. 9 4 is your away win. And of course, 5 2 is your draw. I think it smells like a draw. 2 2 in the end uh, here for me on this one. Kicking off forward is Lille. Uh, they'll be taking on St. Etienne coming at you on Friday, March the 11th. Now, these two sides, of course, played each other 48 times in 1983. 21 to Lille, 12 wins to St. Etienne, and 15 draws. Just one defeat, though. The past five for Lille right now, 58% form. I guess it's inside. Also, one defeat past five, 58% form for them at the moment. Of course, last time around, though, in uh, Lille, it was a nil nil draw back in May 2021. The reverse fixture, of course, in St. was a 1 1 draw back in August. St. Etienne picking up a win nil win over Metz. Of course, Lille with a 4 nil win over Clement Foot. Now it conceded the goal in back to back games. Kicking on forward, though, Lille, 7 10 on for the Rixie, or 10 7 on for the Rixie, 11 4 is draw 4 1 is your way win. That's, of course, St. Etienne. Going to go with a 2 1 win for Lille on this one to take to the house. P.S. Bloody G. Uh, they're going to be hosting. Uh, who are Bordeaux? That's right, coming at you on Sunday, March the 13th. Now, these two sides, of course, a pleasure. 65 times in 1993, 20 wins for PSG, 21 wins for Bordeaux, and 16 draws, of course. PSG, though, just one win. The past three games, 67% form. Against the Bordeaux side, of course, coming into this without a win in five, 33% form for them at the moment. Of course, last around in Paris, of course, there was a 2 2 draw back in November 2020. The reverse fixture, though, in Bordeaux was a 3 2 win for PSG back in, of course, November this season. PSG coming into this with like a 1 win over Nice, which wasn't very nice. Of course, Bordeaux also losing to Troyes last around. Of course, big week as well for PSG, taking on Real Madrid. Uh, of course, all the Champions League hopes uh, rest on that game, of course. Uh, so they'll come out of here with their, with their tails up, hangover, of course. So it all could, could swing it around on this game. Uh, but the odds coming at you for this one, we have, of course, uh, Paris, 7 uh, 1 on for the Richie, 52 is your 14 1 is your long shot. That's Bordeaux. Going to go with a two, 3 0 for Paris Saint Germain, maybe take a bit of frustration out on Bordeaux. Kicking it forward, Strasbourg up against Monaco. Let's get in the deep end on this one. Take place on Sontag as well. Of course, now these two sides have played each other uh, 35 times in 1993. 8 was a Strasbourg, 19 minutes for Monaco and 8 draws. Of course, Strasbourg unbeaten in the last 5, 58% form up against Monaco side, picking up one win in the past 5 for them, 50% form for them at the moment. Of course, last round though in Strasbourg, it was a 1 win back in March 2021. The reverse fixture though in Monaco was a 1 1 draw back in November 2021. Strasbourg picking up a draw against Reims, of course, last round. Of course, Monaco with a 1 win over Marseille as well. The odds right here, right now, of course, uh, what we're we looking at Strasbourg, 20, 31 to 20 for the hosts on this one, to 2 to 1 is your draw, 2 to 1 is your way win. That's Monaco, it's quite tight across the board. Gonna go with a 1 1 draw myself, and I can't separate. 
separate two sides for this. Angers, of course, taking on Reims. Let's get in the deep end on this one now. Over in uh, the Stade Raymond Coppa. Played each other 19 times since 2004. Six wins for Angers, five for Reims, and eight draws. Of course, Angers over there win at least six games, six defeats on the spin. Up against, of course, a Reims side, who, of course, just one win in the past four for them. Uh, just one defeat past five, if you want to look at it that way. Uh, coming at you, though, last time in Angers. It was a one win for Angers back in September 2020. The reverse fixture in Reims was a two one win for Angers back in December. Angers coming into this on the back of a 2 0 loss against Rennes. Of course, Reims picking up a 1 1 draw against Strasbourg on this one. Angers, 30 10 for the victory, 30 5 is your Reims, and 50 to 8 is your draw on this. Uh, back in Reims on this one, surely a 1 0 win for them. Of course, Angers are shite. And to the final one, where Brest up against Marseille has taken place on Sontag as well. Now, these two sides have played each other uh, 10 times in 2010. Two was Brest, six for Marseille, and two draws, of course. Just one defeat the past four for Brest right now, 42% form up against the Marseille side. Uh, just one win in uh, four for them as well, 58% form for them over the last six. Last time around, though, in Brest, it was a 3 2 win for Marseille, but they did finish other in Marseille back in December. It was a 2 1 win for Brest as well. Can they do the double? We'll see about that. Of course, uh, coming at you, though, Brest pick up a 1 win over Lens. Marseille did lose to Monaco, and of course, Marseille in action uh, against Basel this week over in uh, Europa Conference League. Let's take a look at the odds on this one, then, shall we? 5 to 2 is your Brest, 65 is your away win. That's Marseille, and 21 to 10 is your draw. Back in, of course, the away team here, 2 win for Marseille. Take it to the house, and of course, uh, keep Nice under a bit of pressure, which won't be very, very nice. That's, of course, my takes. Meet you bigger. You're taking this. Of course, cut the four slash league. Uh, get involved with it. And, of course, we'll see you back around when we come, of course, to the next round of matches for the following weekend. But that's it, my friends. Be sure to give us some love and smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe. Check out the links down below on Twitter, on Twitch, on Facebook, and also on Patreon. But also, if you want to join me right here in the hot seat to do the League One predictions next season, uh, get involved with me down below. Better still, follow me on Twitter, direct message me that way and say, hey, I want to do your predictions for League One next season. I could do it. I could do it. If you want to be that guy, let me know. Or girl, let me know, of course, and we'll get you hooked up uh, between now and the end of the season. Get you kind of uh, accustomed to the process, kind of ease you in it a little bit. And then, of course, take over the show next season. But until then, guys, we're done for now.